A quick pause here, Chowser is not connected to the game yet. He's back <coughs> and we are into the picking phase so Radiant Team Ban. I'm so glad I had the Windrunner seed screen done. Finally fixed it after I changed my streaming software. No more not like change, more like really just decided to put a little bit more effort into doing something otherwise you would have to read a lot of trash <laughs> from Kalina and legit Harry right there while Chowser was DC anyway those things were all blocked off so now we have go back to the game um, SF has been banned out so one of Arubin's favorite hero is now being banned out and Throw Warlock will now be banned out by Don't UMSL themselves Axe walks on the beach <laughs> continues with the standard first ban of Axe um, Yesterday we finally seen one game with Axe It's been a long 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 time since we get an Axe but we got one yesterday and that's what happens when you let X goes by, you get trashed. <laughs> anti mage is now being banned out by Wallace of the Beach. So assumingly they may be going for the Medusa themselves this time. Disruptor, Disruptor is being picked up by 
UMSL was banned out by Wallace of the Beach last game, but this game they'll get the Disruptor instead. After they decided to ban the anti mage over. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. To the reserve time, a dumper pick. Vengeful Spirit has been picked up once again. We're well, back to the very standard support. Vengeful Spirit Disruptors. And Enchantress Radiant has been picked up this time. Uh, I'm assuming Colina will be playing the Enchantress. Tidehunter. Wow, that's Radiant two very team. powerful team fight heroes. The Disruptor with the Static Storm and the Ravage coming up from his Tidehunter. US, UMSL has some very powerful team fight potential right now. They might want to look to ban Ten out the silencer. Five seconds remaining. Chancho is an interesting Reserve pickup though. It can be annoyance and a big major support to Rubin in mid if Kalina micros well enough. And it also depends a lot on what hero is being picked up for the mid by the opponent. Yes, as expected silencer will be banned out by UMSL. Direct ban in reaction to their own double pick of Disruptor and Tide Hunter. Two very team fight base hero silencer of course a very anti team fight base hero. Basis Void has been banned out by Wallace of the Beach themselves and not a team fight hero. We do remember from season six they use Faceless Void to set up, set up most of their uh, fights with the. I think the most memorable one would be the one with Chronosphere Ravage, following the Chronosphere Static Storm and Freezing Field. Ten second. Ten seconds remaining. Sniper has been banned out by UMSL. Ignore the chips that I'm chewing on. As always, Reserve grad school time. students' diet is extremely unhealthy. Medusa actually has been banned out, so it doesn't look like they're going for the Medusa. Instead, they have banned out the anti mage, and now they will ban out the Medusa too. They do have a vengeful spirit, so I'm thinking whether they're interested to do a Drill Ranger Luna. It would be pretty unpredictable. Five seconds remaining. But okay, a Huska has been picked up, so Radiant I guess a Robin will be bringing a Huska mid now. I was saying the the Luna draw would be very vulnerable to the Glimpse Gang. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Hmm. Reserve time. It's interesting to see what they will put up mid. Juggernaut. Juggernaut has been picked up. 
The Trouble Warlock has been banned out, Axe and Cyber has been banned out too, Juggernaut will be picked up instead. And one of those heroes that is so broken that everyone's complaining about it right now. Seconds remaining. Five seconds. Yes, remaining. Juggernaut does well against Huska, I guess. Being purely physical, no literally to no magical damage at all. Reaver has been picked up, and that's likely a Chowser offlane Reaver that we are seeing. Dire team ban. <laughs> a Pudge has been picked up by UMSL. That's their fourth pick right now, so it looks like Pudge will be going mid against the Huska. Um, Ten seconds. Personally, not too sure which lineup is better, but based on what I know, I would say the Huska would do well against any melee hero in mid. Reserve time. Especially one that one that relies on burning his own HP. We do have some very powerful team fight and pick up potential, but both Jargon and Pudge extremely good at picking off, and of course, two very powerful team fights. Hero coming out from Disruptor and Tide Hunter. We Warlocks of the Beach though have two very defensive support. Eventually Spirit which would be able to swap their cores away or even swap the opponent's core or support back in. Almost as effective as the Glimpse, I would say. More effective because it's almost instantly. Enchantress of course can get an army of creeps to be protected. Doom has been banned out. That's the fifth and final ban from Warlocks of the Beach, so and they do lack a safe lane core. Safe lane core that would go up well against a Juggernaut and a Pudge. Most of the hard carries have already been banned out. I do see um think a Draw Ranger is still in the pool. A Luna is still in the pool. Doom has been banned out too. Faceless Void, Anti-Mage. What else can we see here? We haven't seen a Dragon Knight in a long time and I don't think Dragon Knight is remotely a good hero at all right now. They could of course opt for a clockwork instead. The Chowser to bring a clockwork off lane and the Reaver farms on the safe lane or of course the Reaver could go mid and Huska could go onto the top. It's hard to say. Clockwork is of course extremely disruptive towards team fights. Central War Runner actually being banned out. So, I actually think they believe the Reaver is not for Chowser. Well, the final pick will review, or probably at least review the lineup. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Hmm. There is, I think the only issue right now is there isn't exactly a very good core. Hot carry core left in the pool for them to pick, so they may be forced to pick an off lane and put Chowser off lane. Oh yeah, Radiant totally team. forgot about Rave King. Rave King has been picked up, so we it's likely going to be a Rave King adventure spirit on the safe lane then. And then an Enchantress in the jungle, the Huska in mid, and Chowser bringing a Reaver off lane as expected, I would say. So a 
Wow, a Queen of Pain has been picked up now. So I expect that the Jin Harry will be playing with the Wraith King and Rubin on the Huska. So he will be bringing it mid. Chaozer will be bringing that off lane. Colina will likely pick up the Enchantress. As, and now we see it. he does pick up the Enchantress. And it looks like the Queen of Pain is played by Fig. So he might be going mid. I believe he was on the Medusa. So it looks like he will be going mid. Yeah, based on the item pickup, I think he's going mid. This is interesting though, so Patch as a support? I think so, I think Patch as a support. Mm, on second thought, Patch might be going off lane. Juggernaut definitely safe lane farmer. Abs definitely the probably fifth position support. Uh, looks like it will be a dual lane again, a dual top, dual bottom. Thirty seconds to battle. The battle begins. Temporary aggression right there, Haska actually gets hooked! Queen of Pain very very low, one or two more hits might be enough to bring him down. Haska needs one more fire arrow probably. They're actually diving a Ruby being extremely aggressive now, diving there the thing misses but the hook is ready though. Now a Rubin is in fact in danger as a stun comes out, stuns the Tidehunter. She does not have enough mana to, to do anything. Queen of Pain falls home and I think Haska... Okay, Haska will not go home actually. Queen of Pain also did not get the rune. The Grave King and the Juggernaut is the one that got the rune. Looks like she will be TPing back home. She does have only one. Tango left. Denied. A lot of aggression. Burn four. Probably two more hits. And this is the thing. Queen of Pain does not have a tango. That's her last tango. Rubin actually very very aggressive right now. Three, one more hit? Maybe? No? Oh, he takes a hit from a tower though. He may go down. Two hits from a tower. He actually goes down. First Over aggression there from a Rubin. <laughs> one more hit actually would have burnt the Queen of Pain and but now gives her the first blood and she has the... She has a border right now so that's a major deal for the Queen of Pain I guess and she is forced to return back to base though. So a ruby would not far, fall too far behind in, in terms of lever and on top the tight hunter drops to the enchantress who brings up her army with actually just a cento so it's not a big army. I do think she's going for a Midas Rush. Kalina is probably going for a Midas Rush. Oh my god, the courier is actually in a very dangerous position and it looks like she will go, the courier will go down. Rubin's get, making a lot of mistakes here, taking 3 hits from the tower, getting really really low actually. And he might actually run into the Queen of Pain. Double damage! 
And this looks like a double kill. Not the double kill, second forward to the Queen of Pain right there. Did you forget your safe word? Making a lot of mistakes in me today. Uh, not today, just this game actually. Oh yeah, Rubin isn't too far behind on levels yet. And up top, Brave King actually gets another kill on the Tight Hunter, but he will go down as a return kill. But Patch will not pursue that. Radiance top tower is under attack. Charles is actually doing fairly well. He's on level five right now. Lag. No healing from a Rubin yet. Ah, no gold for you. Probably one more, but he does blink away, so he is safe for now. He does, however, have a regeneration rune, which can be popped fairly easily. Does need to be careful though, one fire may be. He does manage to dodge that one fire though. That one arrow would have probably killed her. 60 damage plus a burn for 8 seconds. It's a total magical damage. It's about 120 magical damage. It probably translates to about 75. This is actually not actually it's enough. The burn itself is 75. Um, I'm interested. Why is Haska doing here? Solely their health. Queen of Pain is rotating down bottom too, so he might be in trouble. They do see that though, Patch has also rotated down bottom. Chowser has his ultimate on cooldown for 5 seconds. And the Queen of Pain will secure a killing spree on Chowser right there. Oscar is, I'm not sure why did he come down here. Honestly, wasn't in a very good position to do much. And with that kill, the Queen of Pain is now full level above. Denied. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Midas is out at six minute forty seven. Pretty quick. Queen of Pain now with a DD, this could be a fight! I don't think a Ruby is interested to fight this, but I don't think he has a choice. I don't think he can run away from this, but he is trying to run. I honestly thought he should have just fought it. Don't think he was he is able to run at all. gonna use not going to be engaging anytime soon I guess just pick up brown boots and that's about it Dyer's middle tower is under attack this is a rare sight zero tree on a Rubin oh the juggernaut bounced away onto the creep and that saved Chowser Ah, 
And an engagement there on Kalina who will be go down to the punch. And this isn't looking as good as it started for Wizards of the Beach. Oh, the start from the center war on the misses and the slow too. And the double stun may be coming here. A stun comes up on the Pudge and follow up by a stun from the Central War Runner who and he will go down and now the Clam comes in but the swap comes out no no mana for a stun now follow up with an stun um central war hey, the central does have a stun I'm not too sure where it's a stun but it doesn't matter Legit Harry gets a kill anyway at the bottom um Chowser picks off the Oh, Chelsea <laughs> fails to get out of that. Very, very close. Fresh night. Get away. I returned to the This is even rarer yes we're seeing a we're seeing a four zero. On a rupin right now. Tower is under attack. A zero four, sorry, not a four zero. Your know, pain might even be interested to dive on the Adventurous Spirit. Has she known that the Adventurous Spirit does not have the mana? He might be very interested to dive. Top is missing. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Not too much going on, I'm probably gonna have a look. MOM has already been picked up. One of Living stuff on the Queen of Pain. Um, Tidehunter is probably working towards a Bling Dagger. He was spotted there though. The Venture Spirit's up for the hook, but somehow misses the hook. Middle tower is under attack. Something I must say is Huska is not exactly a comeback hero. It's not, not the type of hero that comes back into a game well. So once you're behind it's quite hard for you to come back into the game. You're gonna need a lot of kills and just a lot of farms to come back into the game. Middle tower is under attack. The engagement here on the tight hunter. Stuns will follow up immediately, refreshes it. Ravage will be used to save himself. He may be getting away from this, and it looks like he will. But a Ravage is used to save himself from, from that case, so. And probably a Millstorm completed? No, just a threat on the other side. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, the Vengeful Spirit may actually run Radiant into the Queen of Pain now. And a lot of stuns now coming up. The swap being used, the stun connects, but looks like she will go down. And yes, it does get a kill, but she gets a return kill on the Vengeful Spirit anyway. Dropping the ultimate. So the ultimate will be down for 140 seconds, I think, 135. That will be a millstorm. Where is down for another about a minute? Ooh, Dyer's so close. Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack.
Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower. That's a queen of pain. Maybe diving this and re-engagement onto her. She may go down. Okay, she blinks away, so that's safety. The, if the hook hits though, that may be a kill. Double damage is being popped. Uh, not enough to burn her down, but so she should be staying. And on top, the tight hander goes down again. <laughs> he completes his arcane boots, but it's nowhere near to his bling dagger. Bottom, tower. bottom juggernaut gets free farm, picks up a face boots. Um, going for a meteor hammer. Not sure whether it's BKB or maybe a desolator, but he does have an MOM already. It looks like they will be pushing the top lane much harder this time. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. They do of course have a much better pushing lineup. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Illusion. And it looks like the Juggernaut might be in trouble here. He does not have enough. He does have enough mana for a spin. And that's about all man all the mana he has. And Wave King is very, very close to a stun right now. They are trying to find him. Oh, they will not actually find him there. That is, that's a pity. That's a real pity. Arubin does not want to let this go. Oh, he, he finds him. Arubin finds him right now. He does not have enough mana. It looks like he may be going down. Arubin goes really, really low. But the stun ensures that Juggernaut will not be able to kill Arubin first. But right here, Reaver dives with the Queen of Pain. Static Storm is dropped, blinks him in, but he does manage to Sukuchi away. He does have an ultimate. He may even come back in. He does come back in for, for the Disruptor, but he will not stay. He will back away. And finally, Rubin gets his first kill. Oops, I'm actually walking into um, what range, so... TPing coming in from a Juggernaut, this time he does have his ultimate. And he does get away though, Sentry Ward has been dropped. However, he does have his ultimate, so I don't think the Juggernaut is able to fight him. The ultimate is used, now the Juggernaut is in trouble. The Juggernaut is, goes, the Juggernaut just goes down, but I think Kobe Chauzer won't be able to run away from this. I thought he should have just fought, but it looks like it doesn't matter. He will get a Ravage is used, not in time to save him. The Wraith King does not have enough mana to pop his ultimate. He needs 10 more, he needs to stay alive as long as possible. He actually may be able to get away from this. He does! Wow, he jukes away the same way the Juggernaut did, but this time instead of staying there, he walks away, and he gets away. So now he does have an ultimate. Gosh, is used, and looks like the Wraith King is gonna fight this. Looks like he may even get a kill. Ultimate has popped. He's ready to go down. The stun is ready. The stun connects, and the negative damage does hit, but it doesn't matter. Wave King uses his ultimate to secure a kill. It's a level two ultimate, so it's not 260 seconds. So he does get the kill, use his ultimate, Ult ultimate is down and well Tidehunter did use his Ravage to attempt to save the Disruptor but failed. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Rave King completes his Myronian. Legit Harry is farming very well now. Well, arguably he farmed pretty well last game too, just that he put the money into the wrong place. <laughs> no Dagons this time, so... <laughs> Ironically, Reaver's ulti cooled down so much faster. Cools down so much faster, and we have here he is in danger. Ultimate is about to run out. He does have an ultimate and he will get away. Radiant 
structures are fortified. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Back down Haska, Ruby gets hooked up, a Ruby jumps in with a heal, trying to bring the patch down, he does bring the patch down, does a lot of damage Haska, but the patch goes down in exchange for a Queen of Pain gets a kill on the Haska instead. Patch is of course played in almost a support capacity, so... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Enrique now coming in. He has a swap ready. The swap does connect, but no stuns though. It doesn't matter. The stun has already been thrown. Alps is in danger. Alps is down. And now the blink will be used. Ravage is ready, but he won't go back in. Thankfully, they did not go back in. Colina was just coming by. And. Rave King Ultimate was almost ready to be up and it looks like Radiance they will get their second tower right here. Leaf is being used. Queen of Pain now will try to get a solo kill on Chowser who is juking her pretty well and the ultimate once again the ultimate is being used and he will kill she out of that. That's what 450 magical damage. It looks like he may actually find a juggernaut. Top tower is under Ultimate is dropped this time, but Chaozo will walk right away from that. Picks up the Dabber damage. Is he interested to be aggressive with the Dabber damage? I don't think so, but he is caught in trouble right now. And the Ravage will be used to secure the Q on Reaver. Juggernaut uses the ultimate, um, gets a lot of damage on the on Legit Harry, but it doesn't matter. Legit Harry is doing a crazy lot of damage on Juggernaut, brings the Juggernaut down. Patch goes down to Legit Harry's backup. Stun is ready. And a triple kill for the Queen of Pain, but Enchantress finishes her off anyway. Glimpse Legit Harry back, but oh, the miss, Colina. What a miss. He slows, her, her, slows Alps up, but I don't think Alps is going to get away from this. No Scepter yet, so no range, but Scepter has already been completed. So that is a big fight there. Tree goes down, but um, revive for our Legit Harry, of course. And so his ultimate will be down for another 140 seconds. So it's like 120 left right now. He is w one more level away from 60 seconds ages. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Asuka has completed his Helm of Dominator, one of the most important items definitely. Tidehunter is finally very very close to his Bling Dagger now. Patch completed a Hood of Defiance. And Millstorm pickup actually from Juggernaut, not, not a Desolator, not a BKB. Queen of Pain who had a lot of progress with her item earlier on, picks up an Orchid and has been rather stagnant. Um, Charles did a really good job dodging tree engagement and now there will be another one. I don't think he will be as lucky this time. He needs to survive for another few seconds. He ecstasy. does not and he will go down this time. Of agony. Very very close but he does not survive that and the D ward may come at a big price. And it does. The J Harry gets a kill. I do know that's a D ward, I'm not too sure. Oh, <laughs> oh that was funny. <laughs> no Ravage though, Ravage is not up, so it will take some time before Ravage is ready. But the Observer ward is down anyway, so there is we're no, really nothing big to D ward right there, right now. <laughs> Juggernaut is in now, running away. He decides to run away. Haska, not going to pursue. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Looks like Enchantress is working towards an Oblivion stuff too. Yep, she is working towards an Oblivion mask. Uh, sorry, Oblivion stuff and Orchid. Okay. 
ultimate, a lot of ultimate being used there, but she is still alive. And he does have his level 16 ultimate, so he's only sidelined for 60 seconds for his ultimate. And Static Storm is dropped this time. Kaska bringing the Queen of Pain really, really low. He will go down away. It's 2 for 2, the Patch and the Queen of Pain. Um, whoa, taking a lot of damage right there. Corina is a very big carry now. She just really hits like hits like a tank. I think she can tree hit disruptor at the perfect range. Chowser's not farming that great, but he's being a real big annoyance. A lot of effort put into killing him. In alone, the two support actually now up behind here. Rubin has to respawn and he will return. He's 3 7. This is really very unlike him. Kolina is. Kolina is ahead of Chowser and a Rubin. This is also something we don't see a lot in Season 6. The game is still fairly even, slight advantage, about 1000 gold, 5000 gold advantage for Warlocks of the Beach. Continues to build with, of course, a Midas on Kalina and Legit Harry getting bigger and bigger, probably working. I'm pretty sure this one is for ABKB. <laughs> The Ravage will be up within 23 seconds, so... We'll see how this goes, Chowser comes in deep, the stun comes out on Queen of Pain and bursts down very very quickly, within 2 seconds actually, I think the stun only lasts for 2 seconds, it does, stun's about to cool down, so it looks like Tide Hunter will go down too, no Ravage cooldown, so he won't be able to use it to attempt to get away, I don't think he will be able to get away anyway, but... It just cooled down right after he died. So that really shifts things a little bit. It's almost a 2000 gold shift. A direct damage will be picked up by Kalina. And let's see whether Pudge fights her first or she fights Pudge. Remember, Chowser is right outside. So. Oh, they see each other. Chowser fights the Pudge too. Feels to connect though. TP coming in from the Juggernaut this time. And I think the Kalina is in danger now. Oh, the hook misses. What a hook! Oh, Chowser is now in danger. Swap being used defensively, and Enrique will pay with his life for that. He might want to throw a stun. He's not able to throw a stun actually. He will be able to kick a kill on the and the ultimate will be used. Chowser will go. Um, this punch is actually pretty bad. <laughs> And looks like the patch will go down this time and pure damage patch uh, trying to deny himself but fails miserably. And Juggernaut gets a kill on Rubin. Now you do have a Ravage. So Chowser comes in trying to get a kill on the Queen of Pain. Does get a kill on the Queen of Pain this time. Ravage used after triggering Gush. Using Gush to trigger the Lincoln Sphere. He will get away. He is 13 seconds away from his ultimate. Time lapse. And Sukuchi away though, so what a pick off right there, going back in, getting the kill, and excellent game play from Chowser. So legit Harry will be attempting to solo Rosha. Roshan 
<laughs> he will be now very, very hard to kill. Oh, all four of them are here, so he might be pretty easy to kill actually. His ultimate is used, so he is silenced up and looks like he will go down straight away. Aegis is being popped. Everyone is in position actually. Bench with Spirit might be looking to swap him up and he does! Bench Enrique does save legit Harry, but very he's slowed up a lot. And Enrique might he might still be able to get him down. Juggernaut jumps in and gets a lot of kill, gets three kills actually. Uh, Ruby now caught in a dangerous position too and he will go down. That was not the best play. That was a big swing. That's a 6,000 gold lead swing. I think they just lost their lead probably. Chelsea will go down too, so it is a very distant team wipe, and they may even be able to take a tower right now. Venture Spirit is the only hero up, everyone else is still sidelined for about 30 seconds, except for Chelsea, 60 minutes. And they do get a hook on Enrique though. Enrique does stun him out, I don't think he'll be able to get away. Swap is being used in a very awkward manner, but. However, counts. I'm not sure what Kalina is doing. Kalina is coming in to try to secure a kill on the Queen of Pain, and Patch once again misses the hook. <laughs> She's trapped within this, and she does get a second kill actually. And ultimate is now being used on the Tide Hunter, and that Tide Hunter goes down very, very quickly. And a Rubin now trying to turn this around. Patch has a lot of burn. He gets a secure a kill. It's now a turnaround. An opposite team wipe actually, a Ruby getting 3 kills. <laughs> what a what a turnaround. What looks like a very bad re-entry from Colina turns out to be an excellent play. He gets two kills and Ruby comes in and finish off the other three. Necrobook actually, Queen of Pain has picked up a Necrobook. Um, Tidehunter working to his. Radiance um, middle tower is under attack. I'm not sure. Radiant structures are fortified. Ring of protection. Uh, I'm not sure what he did there, but mechanism is disruptor's target. He is about 900 gold away Radiance from it. Um, Juggernaut has just spent all his money, so. <laughs> been very close to his BKB, about 800 goals away. Legit Harry actually farming off the... Oh actually the first the first meter hammer was for a Desolator. The second one now probably for his BKB. He's also about 1100 goal away from a BKB. He should be fast with a Maelstrom. He should farm really, really quickly. And it's funny, what was the bitch is farming both sides? Um, yeah, the turnaround fight actually got back, got the goal lead back for them. And Juggernaut probably working very close to his, trying to get his butterfly. Patch is now in danger. Being breezing, Arubin dodges the hook, trying to come in on Arubin now. A lot of ultimate, two ultimates actually already being used on him. He may even be able to bring the Queen of Pain down. That's okay, not enough burn actually. I'm not sure why no support comes in to help him, though they were just right here. <laughs>
You do see the Venture Spirit is in big trouble right there, and the Venture Spirit does use this as. Oh, I'm not sure what's that for. But the. Radiance Top Tower is under attack. Radiance Top Tower has fallen. Ravage is used up there to try to secure a kill in Kalina. Looks like they may get the kill right there. They will get the kill. It is a. A tree heroes it's down legit Harry is up here um, Chowser is actually still mingering about in the opponent's jungle legit Harry has come here with a big haste though does start up on the juggernaut um, his silence up right outside but a lot of steady electricity coming out juggernaut uses his ultimate he will pop the wave king's ultimate and this may look pretty bad um, abs is being brought down Kalina Kalina is actually already dead, sorry, Juggernaut will go down too and now Chowser is forced to back away after getting two kills um, the dust does not cash him do secure a kill on the Jock and the Disruptor Chowser actually coming in to get a kill, also another Desso being picked up. Medallion looks like she's working towards Enrique is working towards the four stuff. Kalina has her has the orchid now, and Ruben getting closer and closer to his BKB. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. On the other side, Queen of Pain completes a laboratory necro book. Um, Tide Hunter is very close to the and heart actually picked up by Pudge. As you can see, BKB also completed a legit Harry. Tide Hunter very close to a refresher. Tells is actually disconnected. structures are fortified. Uh, uh, uh. Dust just catch him this time, Charles is trying to run away. And the hook will miss, so there's no ravage being used to get him. Silence this time used on the Juggernaut. Uh, Chowser trying to get the kill right now. We do have three Chowser hoots in, but stays there, stationary for a while. Dust once again being popped. He will be able to switch himself away. They are all diving in to try to look for him, but all four heroes are right here. I'm not sure whether they want to take a fight. Refresher Orb is ready now. So that is going to be a pretty big fight. Chowser just not has his out. Actually, his ultimate is just cool down, so. BKB also now being used and Rubin aggressively taking the whole thing and he will go down Static Storm being used um, but he burst down very quickly Ravage being used waiting for a double Ravage 
Waiting for the opportunity for Dabaravich, not using his ultimate, he will go down instead and now Juggernaut goes down, Queen of Pain still alive, Pudge is now stuck here and he will go down as a 4 man for a Rubin and a Rubin only died because he, he sort of went crazy and went in alone on 5 but they do manage to get 4 kills and this is probably at least a lane of racks. none of the 4 heroes have buybacks and most of them are sidelined for about 50 seconds Radiant's bottom tower is under attack and I do think Legit Harry is likely working towards a Abyssal Blade now. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Um, Reaver Chow is working towards a Crystalis. Um, I'm not sure what she's what Kalina is working towards. He Radiance picks up the Shadow Armor, so probably a Shadow Blade, but he gets a Ring of Regen. Bottom tower has Looks like they will be able to get Radiant the full lane. Maybe when I rotate me, they do have 20 Radiant more seconds. They should be able to bring the tower down. Middle tower is under they do get the tower. Remember, there is a refresher. Ult, so Tight Hunter does have a ravage. Everyone, Chowser wants to stay behind. He has an ultimate. He is confident on taking this, and he will be able to take it. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. Chowser misplayed though. Uses his ultimate a little bit too early. I still think he's going to go down. So the defensive swap isn't going to save him. And looks like Enrique will go down too. So two kills, but with buyback. They do have buyback. Now Rubin going into solo the Rosan and Legit Harry coming in to finish this off for him. Roshan has fallen to the dial. So it looks like a Rubin will be the one taking the ages. I think we discussed this yesterday. We talked about whether it's either you give it to your strongest hero or you give it to your weakest hero so that he can come back to fight even though he's dying early and Rubin jumps in straight away with his ages he doesn't care <laughs> oh my god the yolo-ness of Rubin is just crazy his BKB is down he is now eating up the full ultimate from Juggernaut Rubin is Dead. Ravage now being used, he's caught in the Static Storm, Refresher being used but he's immediately being beaten up so no mana to use it. Um, Kalina actually steals a kill on the bat, Legit Harry comes in and Kalina but trying to bring Kalina down at whoa, one crit and there you go, that's done. And now Juggernaut is being stunned up right now, second Ravage already being popped too and Legit Harry will go down, he does not have buyback though, Rubin does not have buyback too. Kalina has buyback. That's about it. Chowser um, is still up, pushing up the top lane. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Enrique will deny that tower. He does have a force stuff out and ready. Chowser looks like he's just going to push up the top lane instead. Um, okay, he may be going back. He does not have a TP though. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Dyer's middle barracks. This patch hook is terrible. <laughs> Dyer's structures are fortified. Uh, this is funny because they are taking a really, really long time to bring down the Rex and Chowser is Dyer's right outside the door of the final lane of Rex that they have. Uh, I'm not sure whether Chowser is interested to return back to base to try to catch this. I think they're trying to get to swap someone back. Most people have TP back so Chowser is going to go back off from the lane. A golden thread. That's some ridiculous amount of attack speed there. They need 
a lot of burst damage to bring him down. And it will be able to TP away this time. No silence coming out yet. He does have an ultimate. He uses the ultimate, kills the kills the unit, and then goes away. Kalina now soloing up the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut will actually use his use his ultimate. He does have a butterfly and I don't think any one of them have an MKB yet. an annoyance and looks like the M UMSL will be rotating into their jungle smoked up but the whole food team is actually on top except for Kalina Kalina's dead oh spotted out right now so Ravage uses um, Static Storm catches Drew, Refresher coming up, so not really a, a good time. Queen of Pain finishes off the Vengeful Spirit at the back. Tree kills going down though, with Jit Harry coming back right up. Uh, Jit Harry not dead yet actually, it does kill the Juggernaut, so... And he is coming back up, and the stun, and sure as he gets a kill actually, no stuns yet, the hook brings him back. Oh, Crit kills the Queen of Pain off immediately, Ultra kill going his way. And Queen of Pain buys back immediately and Punch is now in danger. Uh, Queen of Pain comes back, she doesn't want to be Crit, that's a Rampage going the way of Legit Harry. More buyback, Disruptor buys back too. They cannot handle him at all. They are forced to back away now. The, the crits though that came out on the Queen of Pain was just ridiculous. <laughs> he literally just tree hit at the Queen of Pain and she was like about 60% on his health and just a crit and he's dead. And now Kalina trying to find a pick off and looks like she will be able to find one or maybe even she may be even be pick off but... Like she will use up the Shadow Blade trying to find... A slow, a silence, and a slow, no ultimates, one ultimate, that was one painful one. P p 400 pure damage, I believe, yes it is pure. <laughs> there is actually a 15,000 gold lead for and experience wise he actually gone backwards UMSL now has the experience lead Roshan is down, oh that's a quick respawn, that's an 8 minute respawn for Roshan Oh, actually no, that's the 8 minutes mark. He could potentially respawn then. Mm, 
looks like it may be the last push we have here. Top tower is under Smoke attack. is being used up. Looks like they want to rotate backwards, but Chowser has spotted them already. Smoke is doing They will get the Chowser. Ravage catches tree and only tree to refresh. Catches tree too. Venture Spirit is brought down really, really quickly. BKB now all up. But where's Legit Harry? Legit Harry is now chopping down on the back, killing Disruptor immediately. He goes down very, very quickly. Chowser is the only one left alive, still does not have his ultimate, ultimate already used, legit Harry now on the back chopping up everything but looks like he's going down really really low, he will go down. So there is an ultra kill this time for the Juggernaut and Queen of Pain will secure and find a kill on the river and that is a team wipe. Hmm, that is a full 8000 gold swing to the way of UMSL and looks like they may be just going mid. They want to end this. No one has a buyback too. Are fortified. The big guy is the legit Harry. He needs to come back up as soon as possible, but it doesn't look like any he's going to be able to come out anytime soon. They do lose a tower. Pyche does have a buyback stats. Let's go. Bash is swapped back, and a lot of damage. Uh, Rubin engages on the Pyche instead of the Juggernaut. But Juggernaut is very tanky right now. Rubin does not want to go down. He does not want to die, but he's dismembered up and looks like he will go down. This may be GG. Kalina now trying to run away, but he gets hooked back and stunned. I think it's from a basher, probably. Uh, from not even a basher, actually. Just from. And Rubin, Chowser is trying to take a lot of damage, but Jit Harry is now trying to stun everything up, but he is stunned up himself. He does throw a stun up right now they are trying to bring it down patch is going really low patch will go down too he does have a buyback juggernaut is very very low queen of pain has gone down juggernaut trying to get away um now i'm not sure whether they want to chase the juggernaut or just fight but juggernaut will go down chance gets a pick off right there ravage being used ancient is very very low chowser now still chasing on the tide hunter i don't think you can get away but he does get away he does manage to get away from that and <laughs> both heroes TP away. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, looks like Dyer's top tower will go down too. Dyer's top tower. Oh, has Juggernaut has actually bought back into the game because legit Harry is right here. This may be GG if he goes down here. And looks like he will go down. And that may be GG, I'm not sure what he was thinking going in alone like that. But two buybacks right there, Juggernaut and the Pudge bought back. And now the, the, the fight will go the other way around again. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Middle tower is under attack. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, Tide Hunter getting really, really low. He may be in danger here. And looks like he uses a refresher. Catches Chowser, but he goes down anyway. Dismember used, but he's immediately signs up. Now Juggernaut in position. Throws up his ultimate. Getting a lot of hit on Kalina. Turning back onto a Rubin though. And now... He's being stunned up, they need to bring the Juggernaut down, he has no buyback. Juggernaut has no buyback, ultimate thrown up, no one goes down yet, no one goes down yet, Juggernaut goes down. Juggernaut goes down now, he does not have a buyback, he will be sidelined for a very long time, Chowser goes down after this, but he does have a buyback, he's down for 90 seconds, he bought something, he reduces his buyback, but gets his buyback back. A Rubin comes in, finish off the Queen of Pain, now killing off on the Departure, burns a lot, trying to stay alive, 
But his member is used against a ruby with blade mail on, so he will go down. Four of three or four of them are on the sideline. One with buyback, only disruptor left alive. And Queen of Pain will actually buy back immediately, not even gonna wait. Oh, because the Jerry is inside already. And he will use a BKB, manages to blink away, and this may look like GG right now. If a Blizzard Blade connects, you're dead. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, Queen of Pain. If a Blizzard Blade connects, you're dead. Uh, looks like they're gonna ignore the Thunders connect. This time a Blizzard Blade connects. Queen of Pain goes down. Everyone is sidelined. And looks, like this is GG and well played. This is very, very interesting game. Very, very interesting. A game that we have not had so close. For a very long time. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. And we will be back with more action from Amateur to the 2 League next week.